How's it going everyone? So for today's video, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to make a brick caliper holder out of two old U-bolts. Um, this is really inexpensive to do. Basically these U-bolts get thrown away when they're removed from a vehicle because they stretch um, and they're, they're required to be replaced typically every time they come off. So what this is, is this is a holder to hold a brick caliper when you have it unbolted from the hub assembly. So anytime you're doing a service to the brakes or you're replacing an axle shaft or wheel bearing or something to where the brake caliper has to come off, you wanna make sure that it's properly supported. You don't want it hanging from the brake line. The reason why you don't want it hanging from the brake line is you can easily fatigue or break or rip the brake line while you're doing that. Um, it also is a safety thing for you as a tech. Um, potentially, if you were to have this balanced up on top of the hub assembly and the vehicle gets shifted or moved, or you're, you're banging on something to get a strut out or something along those lines, you run the risk of the caliper flying down and hitting you. Um, I have seen techs hit themselves in the face that way. So essentially what it is, is it's two U-bolts welded together. We have one that will go through, you know, one of the vents on the caliper itself, while the other one hooks onto a coil spring. Now it can hook onto the coil spring, a upper control arm, a frame mount, anywhere that um, the suspension component that this can go around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different methods of actually making these. Um, the first method is if you have a welder, obviously you can just weld the two together and you're good to, and you're good to go with that. Um, if you don't have a welder, you can use hose clamps. So what I do is I take the two threaded ends and kind of interlock the threads so they don't wanna move up and down and then two hose clamps on either side. So I'm gonna show you both methods of doing that. Our first step to making one of these is to cut down our old U-bolts and clean them up uh, prep in preparation of welding and for uh, use with the hose clamps. So we'll uh, get to cutting them down now. Off. So what we'll do is we'll go through and mark one of these legs on all of them so that we can cut with the die grinder. Um, you can cut these in a couple different methods, um, with a reciprocating saw, uh, a drop saw. What I'm gonna be using is what most people have and that's just a regular air die grinder. So we'll, we'll cut the ends of these off and then uh, prep these for welding. So our next step, now that we've cut our U's into J's, is uh, we wanna round off these edges so that they're nice and smooth and uh, don't run the risk of cutting or, or getting stuck on the rotor. Um, for the set that we're gonna weld with our MIG welder, we do wanna clean off uh, the side where the welds are gonna go. I've already ran these through the parts washer to get all the dirt off of them, but we wanna make sure we're marking off and uh, making it really clean where we're gonna be welding these together. The set that we're not gonna be welding together, you don't need to do that to, but you still need to round off the ends of these so we can take off the burr and make these nice and uniform. So we have our set cleaned up that we're gonna weld. We have the burrs taken off of the ends and we have the ends where we're gonna weld it together nice and clean. So we'll you know, have nice clean welds. The end that we're not gonna be welding, uh, what we're gonna be using to put them together is gonna be hose clamps. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna interlace the threads so that they kind of lock together and we're gonna put hose clamps on either end now the nice thing with doing it this way is then you have the ability to change the height. Um, again, these aren't the most ideal length U-bolts only because they, if they had threads a little bit longer, they'd be perfect.
So now what we do is we cut off either end and we have the ability to have a caliper hanger and that's gonna be plenty strong to be able to support a caliper. Like I said, these are a little long. Ideally, you'd want some threads a little bit farther down. It will work on the on the uh, open part, but because we have the threads kind of gripping it together, um, it does act as a, you know, uh, lock for itself. The other nice thing too is you can rotate them around when they're like this, because you won't always have the ideal opportunity where you can have, you know, hooking to the coil or uh, another suspension component like that. So having these be able to rotate is a benefit. So this isn't necessarily the bad, you know, bad option is to have it set up like this. So the next way we're gonna do it is we're going to weld these, these two together and, and welding these together isn't that big of a deal. Any type of welder will work um, as long as you can do steel. Typically these are, are made of mild steel. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have the associated rod to go with that. We're just gonna use a basic MIG welder to uh, stick these two guys together. Uh, so we'll do that next. So now that's all that's really left is waiting for the welded one to uh, cool down and put a little bit of paint on it. You should put some paint on the ends too of the ones that you didn't, you didn't weld if you, if you went that route. Um, pardon my welding skills, I'm not a professional welder by any means. Uh, I am just basically a mechanic that you know welds to get by uh, when need be. So I uh, hope you guys found this to be helpful. Um, Basically, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a really quick and expensive tool, uh, save you some money, and then otherwise use something that would normally be thrown away. Uh, U-bolts typically get thrown away right after they're, uh, they're done being used because um, they're one-time use. They, they stretch when, when used. So hopefully you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.